Drivers, I've discovered the max amount of tip you're ever going to get when you deliver auto parts on the traditional gig food delivery apps. Do you want to know what it is? Before we get to that answer, hello and welcome. My name is Russ. I've been doing food delivery part-time going on six years, so I've got a wealth of expertise and that's why I love helping you. So recently, I needed to do some maintenance on my car. I wanted to flush the brake lines. I'm pretty sure it had never been done at all. So I got online and I went to an auto parts store. I looked up the brake fluid I wanted and I saw that it had one day delivery for $9. Who could beat that? And this was early in the week, so I knew this will be great. The whole time when I placed this order, I thought it was gonna be there the next day because I paid an extra $9 for that delivery service. And I just assumed it would be someone from that store bringing it. Boy, was I wrong. Do you know, it was a DoorDash driver that ended up delivering it to me. And I was surprised because I placed this order on a Tuesday and the order didn't actually get delivered until Thursday afternoon. So I was really surprised at this. Maybe they had to get it from another store or from a warehouse, I don't know. But it is interesting that when this DoorDash driver got the order, it was just to bring it to my house and that was it. So this was the very first time as a customer that I've placed an order like this. And this now just highlights that many of these companies outsource their delivery services to the traditional food delivery apps. And that could be Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, things like that. As a driver, I've taken many deliveries like this. I've delivered tires from a wholesaler to a dealership. I've delivered brake parts and oil filters from AutoZone going to the local mechanic shop. So it's no surprise that when I found out there's never gonna be a tip when you do these orders. I had always suspected that when AutoZone's delivering somewhere else or again from that tire wholesaler, I get it, they're just outsourcing the delivery. But I always held out hope that maybe I could get a tip or at least a good rating from that business. I never changed how I do my customer service and I was always polite and professional, but I didn't get a tip. And so this can be a warning and a lesson to you. Never ever expect a tip when you're doing these kind of auto parts deliveries on the traditional gig apps. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because if the offer comes in and it meets your criteria, low miles, decent pay for an hourly wage, then take it. Obviously, we only care about our total pay. Tips are nice, but when the pay is right, just take the order. I would actually do many of these kinds of orders. I'm not opposed to them, but now I know there's never, ever gonna be a tip on these types of orders, and that's okay. So you may ask, what is the likelihood that you ever could get a tip on an order like this? I would say if you're doing a shop and pay order, whereas the driver, you go in the store, you pick out the product, pay for it, and deliver it. Then you have a chance for a tip. The difference is the orders that I've been discussing are only delivery. All I do is go there, announce myself, get the order number, pick it up, and deliver it, and that's all, which is fine. So as you can imagine, for my own personal car, I had to go find the brake fluid elsewhere, and then when that shipment showed up way too late for me, and the poor driver, it said right in there, zero tip, but I didn't have the opportunity to tip him because it wasn't through the app. It was something outsourced through another company. So I ended up doing the brake flush just fine, and then I was able to return the brake fluid to the one store that I ordered, and then I had gotten some extra, so I returned that as well. Overall, it was a success. I'm able to keep my car on the road and operating efficiently, and that's something for you to consider. If you have an older car, when's the last time that you flushed your brakes? I hope you don't find it too surprising that companies would outsource their delivery services to the traditional food apps because it's far cheaper and less hassle for them to do that. And then these companies could contract with us, the independent contractors, to deliver those orders. If it wasn't for this order that I placed as a customer, I would have never known this for sure. I've always suspected it, but never had the proof until I did my own order because usually I go pick up everything myself. Speaking of driver pay, have you ever wondered how would you know if these gig app companies are ripping you off? Well, I've done the research for you, but first, 
please do click the like button and like the channel if you've gotten value. It helps YouTube get this out to other drivers to help them as well. Also, if you've done an auto parts order like this, please share your feedback in the comments below on how that went. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.